guys this is a1 i'm back and um, that was a successful recording this last one with the lego pack texture pack um i managed to get a recording over 15 minutes we got 17 minutes so uh, with no problems at all so uh, you know what i think i'm gonna have to trade trade uh, devices with my son haha <laughs> Um, I decided not to, I was going to delete this one, but I thought about it and I thought, mm, maybe you guys are going to probably like this one, this Lego texture pack. So before I switch to a different texture pack, I thought I'd do maybe one or two more videos with it. Because I really didn't get to, a chance to see all the blocks in Lego pack texture mode. So here I am, I just rejoined. I don't see my farm. My farm is gone. I'm supposed to spawn where my farm is, but I don't see it. That's a little mystery. Maybe oh, it's by it was by a beach. Where is that beach? Hmm. Maybe it's over here. I think. Hey, it's my NPC MP M C P E son. <laughs> Ghost ride. Ghost ride. He's gonna go. Hey, mom. Watch. <laughs> As I told you, hey, mom. Hey, son. Everyone's like, asks me, asks them, like, what? That's your mom? He's not my, my mom. And he's not, I'm not his mom in real life. Of course, he's not my mom. That'd be weird. Um, I don't know if pe people think it's weird, but he's, he said that he, he adopted me as his mom, so. I think that's awesome. The reason for that is well because I am a Minecraft mom, so to speak. Uh, I'm 33 years old. Just in case anybody out there doesn't know, I'm 33 years old, and that's about the same age as Notch. And a lot of the developers that play this game, um, I, I kind of see myself just like them, and in a way. Uh, that's kind of why I like I I really like enjoy this game probably because we all came from the same generation and Farmy he's 33 also there's like a weird thing where like every grown up that plays this, this game is there it's like we're all 33 years old it's weird it's like the same age as the, as the creator well um and with the MCPE we find that like uh that that is not always the case guys are we we've discovered you guys are youngsters and well I mean I came here for because my son was playing this game he begged me for this game and I came on here to help him learn how to play it and so occasionally I'll bring him on he's younger than then he's like a younger kid he's seven years old so for him it's a little bit difficult to join on these servers by himself so therefore I kind of just assumed that like more adults were on here because it's kind of, well, I don't know. For me, I, I always constantly supervise my son when he, in his online time, you know, he has his own Facebook, he has his own iPod and he gets online. And when he's in the server, I, I supervise him because he's only, he is only seven. And, uh, you know, who knows what, <laughs> He might grieve or he might, you know, not understand what's going on and um, he can't communicate as well as uh, everyone else. So I'm in there also to, to you know, because it is a, like a chat room and I don't know who's in there. I don't know who, what, what kind of, you know, there may be predators. So that's, that's another reason why we created Farm Glitch, Farm Glitch um, kind of as a way to, to kind of, to kind of keep uh, the community safe. You know, like I see myself as a mother because I am a mother. I came on here, um, joining the servers with my son. Uh, also, to you know, he wanted to start joining the servers, so I have to log him in and um, and just like it, you know, any other online chat room, there's people chatting and there's cussing going on, and there is going to be a possible uh, chance for cyberbullying, and I'm not down with that. So, um, actually, when I first started joining um, these servers there was a lot of that going on and it was important 
to me to put that to an end. I mean, griefing is a totally different thing, but cyberbullying is something else that's not tolerated here. Not tolerated here. It's not cool. So um, hopefully we're bringing a good name to the community, you know, and uh, putting kids, you know, like uh, we want you guys to be recognized for being leaders and for your knowledge in this like it's in these games it takes a lot of computer skills believe it or not and to be an admin to learn all the all the uh, all those mods and hacks even though like some people look down at them we are very we are very you know unconventional when it comes to that like we we are we hack and mod ourselves and there's such thing as a he ethical hacker and um when you use mods, um, you use them for a higher understanding. There's a difference than using them for to gain, to gain, a, you know, to cheat actually, to cheat or to, you know, to gain some kind of advantage over others and just keep them from playing the game altogether. It's like not right to just uh, let's call it like a denial of service attack in the hacker world just not cool but if you use it for good it's good if you use it for evil we're all ban you and I'm just walking around so you guys can see this Lego world Lego pack I have no idea who built this I got this off t um, like in the description it says in the last video it says um, I the the city of repo that I got it from um, I don't know if he actually built this or if he just ported it or just uploaded it to his repo. <laughs> um, um, I believe it's a, these are all ports from, um, the Minecraft, uh, PC edition. And I think everything that comes from, from MCPE comes from the PC edition. I, I didn't know that. Okay. I am a noob. I'll, I'll admit it when it comes to the PC version. I had no idea of that. <laughs> so these are like mini texture packs that uh, people have ported for the PC, the for the edition for this edition, and I have no idea who made made the Lego pack texture pack for. What is that? Oh, iron. I don't have iron. Let's see if it lets me get it. Sometimes those are called drops when uh, you get killed in your item drops like that or whenever like you mine a, a piece of cobble or a piece of stone it turns into cobble it drops the cobble some blocks well if you don't know I'm telling you <laughs> some blocks uh, <clears throat> don't drop anything some blocks do I think I think even though I'm a noob and maybe many of you older people like that play Minecraft will view this as like oh okay we already know what's, how to play the game and this game is nothing like the pc version i i think that's totally wrong because there's a whole other audience that are just playing this just like me off of the app store off of the google play store off firsthand just starting the pc we're like mobile gamers we like that you know that uh Temple Run game, we like that Words with Friends, we like the Sims game, we like Farm Bill. We're mobile gamers and we're a totally different genre. And for us, this game particularly, even though it's a lesser version of the PC edition, this is a quite an advancement. This is awesome. The multiplayer is just like a, just a huge advancement compared to the, the quote unquote multiplayer games available on mobile gaming and that is why I disagree totally with the, everyone who says that uh, this game sucks and you know get the Minecraft or the PC edition but not every like six year old seven year old eight year old or even 11 year old is going to be is going to have her own you know supercomputer at home let alone have a parent they have parents and I'll let them you know like play that game uh, like for 12 hours <laughs> you know with the head headset you know I'm not making fun of you guys but you know uh, my own brother uh, you know he he played multiplayer games like Final Fantasy and and he um 
would play literally for 12 hours in a row, sometimes longer. And a lot of kids that are playing, you know, the, the audience that are, are getting this, the, the pocket edition, well, these are kids that are like young, way younger than that. I think the, you guys are like starting at 11. That's when, you know, and I think it's a school, your schools that are, you know, encouraging you guys to come onto YouTube and then you come on and you see these uh, Minecraft videos and, and, um, come on here and usually it's, I know, like, uh, we just want to like you guys to have some kind of acknowledgement because, um, I'm surprised. The reason why I thought you guys were adults were because how well you guys communicate. So there's a lot of, and I always notice that even when somebody's making it like, uh, they spell something wrong, but they don't like spell it wrong for long. And you don't even have to like tell them, Hey, you're spelling it wrong. Eventually they, <clears throat> they correct themselves, you know, and, uh, you, it's kind of cool. Like for like for after a few days, somebody, you know, they, they misspell a word and then all of a sudden, boom, uh, they keep, uh, you know, seeing the correct spelling over and over again. And then the next thing you know, they're spelling it right. And then it's more like, uh, it's like really, it's really cool how you guys like really emphasize on the correct spelling. You guys are always trying to be on your, on your best behavior or your best uh, spelling and showing how smart you guys are to each other. And that's, that's a really good thing. Cause it just means that you guys are keep, keep on, um, making sure that your vocabulary and your, uh, grammar is, you know, taught is learned in school before you come on here and play the game. So to me, that's a really, really something to be proud of and something for, for parents to be proud of and to acknowledge it, not to, not to, um, look down on it. And if you're here and you're helping and you're promoting a good web, uh, internet presence, and if you're against and you're help, you know, you're against the bullying and you're against the, and you actually promote the, the opposite of that, we want to recognize that, you know, a server administrator or an OP, which is short for a operator is something you can put like on your experience. You can list it as, as experience, believe it or not, like when you guys uh, apply for colleges. If you're going to uh, look into a career in computers, that is something that you can put on there, your experience. And you can uh, take my word for that. If you ever needed a recommendation, I would be happy to, me or Farming would be happy to, to send a letter for you. Just let us know when you get to that point, of course. You guys have to start um, applying for colleges um, in your sophomore year, I think, or junior year. You apply your sophomore year, and the junior year is what they look at for your transcripts. So just a couple of things to keep in mind and just do, you know, don't let anybody like, uh, call you a slacker or try to blame video games for ruining your mind when it's really, really making you more creative and more outgoing. Go kill somebody. Uh, oh, did he just quit? Just quit the game. You see that? I wonder if I'm invisible because no one seems to see that I'm here. And I never found my farm. I think my farm got griefed. Did you guys see my farm? I don't see my farm. I don't see my farm. Oh. I guess I was totally wrong about my gold blocks. It's not a hack of mine. It was really somebody messed up 
Oh, maybe it's my texture pack. So I eliminated at least that it's not me that has a hack. <laughs> I thought I had a hack that turned glass into gold blocks, but it's not the case because somebody else did it. I guess they just bought a bunch of glass and it turned it to gold. It's like that Midas touch thing. OMG. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? What? Oh my god, what? What's wrong? A1 to the rescue. Oh, is that my phone? Or that's that's a crafting table. See, I can't tell what these blocks are. Crafting table. Gotta remember that. That's a crafting table. It doesn't look like you're... Oh, you know what? They, how they did it. They did it like the PC version. Isn't that what it's supposed to look like? Those grids or whatever. What's the job? Sky does the chop chop. Oh, the Parker. The Parker. Okay, who's at the Parker? Who is at the Parker? I'm gonna do an, an I'm gonna cut this video short and then do the Parker and do a whole separate video of Lego Parker. I might not even upload this one video because I think I was rambling on about stupid stuff so I'm gonna have to replay it and if I don't like it I'm gonna I don't know I'm very self well I'm, I'm usually not self-conscious I usually say what I want to say and I'm very outspoken and I usually don't regret taking back anything I say but now I'm very like self-conscious when doing these videos it's like I don't know it's like just like when I recorded I I, I, I was a singer and I, I like to sing a lot and I'm really a perfectionist. I'll just sing it over and I'll like I have the recording has to be perfect. So I'll sing it over and redo it over and over and over. And with this is kind of stressful because I'm trying to record. It's just a commentary, but I want it to stay natural. But I don't want to just like, you know, over overthink too much and be too self-conscious to where I just delete the videos and never want to upload them. So I'm trying to be trying to be more relaxed about it <laughs> so and I know it's gonna be time before I you know become a professional or whatever and uh, oh can't break white wool because you suck that's not true oh well okay well I'll see you guys back in the next round a1 out. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. <sighs>